In this comprehensive script, we will delve into the fascinating world of embryology and specifically focus on the intricate process of limb development. Limb development is a complex and highly regulated process that involves the precise coordination of multiple genetic and molecular factors. Throughout this script, we will unravel the mysteries surrounding limb development and explore the various mechanisms and pathways involved, from the early stages of patterning to the formation of distinct limb structures. Limb development involves a complex network of factors that control gene expression and cell fate determination. Transcription factors like Hox and T-Box genes play important roles in specifying regional identities and regulating limb development. Hox and T-Box genes are crucial for organizing and identifying limb segments. Hox genes are expressed sequentially and control specific target genes, determining segment identity along the limb. T-Box genes like TBX4 and TBX5 are essential for hind lime and forelimb development, respectively. Cell signaling pathways, such as sonic hedgehog, SHH, fibroblast growth factors, FGFs, and bone morphogenetic proteins, BMPs, play essential roles in instructing cell fate determination, proliferation, and differentiation during limb development. SHH, produced by the zone of polarizing activity, ZPA, establishes the anterior-posterior axis and governs digit pattern formation. FGFs are crucial for limb bud outgrowth, while BMPs regulate dorsal ventral patterning and control the differentiation of various cell types within the developing limb. The apical ectodermal ridge, AER, is a specialized thickening of the ectoderm at the distal tip of the developing limb bud. It plays a critical role in directing limb outgrowth and patterning. The air secretes signaling molecules, including FGFs, which regulate the proliferation and survival of the underlying mesenchymal cells. Through its interactions with the underlying mesenchyme and the ZPA, the air influences the precise elongation and axis determination of the developing limb. The zone of polarizing activity, ZPA, in the limb bud plays a critical role in determining the anterior-posterior axis and digit patterns. It secretes a molecule called SHH, which forms a gradient along the limb and specifies digit identities based on exposure. Hox genes are key players in specifying regional identities along the proximal distal limb axis. The sequential activation of different Hox genes along this axis determines the formation of the upper arm, forearm, and hand, in the case of the forelimb. In addition to their role in establishing regional identities, Hox genes also influence skeletal patterning by regulating the formation and differentiation of different limb bones. The interplay between various transcription factors plays a crucial role in limb cell fate determination. Myogenic, chondrogenic, and adipogenic lineages are specified by the coordinated action of specific transcription factors and their downstream targets. For example, myogenic lineage specification involves the activation of myogenic regulatory factors like MyoD, while chondrogenesis requires the action of SOX transcription factors. Understanding these transcriptional networks is essential for comprehending the formation of diverse cell lineages within the developing limb. The development and differentiation of specific limb structures, including bones, muscles, blood vessels, and nerves, involve a complex interplay of cellular and molecular mechanisms. The differentiation of precursor cells into distinct cell lineages is orchestrated through intricate processes of cell migration, proliferation, and differentiation. Coordinated interactions between different cell populations and their self-organization contribute to the establishment of the correct topology and three-dimensional structure of limb tissues. Limb bud mesenchyme is a group of cells that develop into different tissues in the limb, like bones, muscles, tendons, and connective tissues. These cells go through complex processes, guided by signaling interactions, to ensure proper limb formation. Understanding the genetic causes and molecular mechanisms underlying congenital limb abnormalities provides significant insights into normal limb development. Conditions, such as amelia, complete absence of limb formation, meromelia, partial absence of limb, polydactyly, extra fingers or toes, and syndactyly, fusion of digits, result from abnormalities in the patterning and differentiation processes during limb development. Mutations in various genes involved in limb development, including SHH, FGFs, and Hox genes, as well as environmental factors, can contribute to these anomalies. Limb development is a delicate balance between genetic and environmental influences. Maternal factors, such as nutrition and hormone levels, can affect limb development. Additionally, exposure to teratogens, including drugs, alcohol, and chemicals, during critical periods of limb development can lead to limb malformations. Moreover, environmental cues, such as physical forces and mechanical stress, can influence limb morphogenesis. Understanding the interplay between genetic and environmental factors is crucial for elucidating the complex etiology of limb malformations. In the field of limb regeneration and tissue engineering, researchers are making exciting advances using stem cells, 
growth factors, and biomaterials to regenerate functional limbs. Recent studies have shed light on the cellular and molecular mechanisms involved, offering hope for future treatments. In an elaborate and fascinating orchestration, limbs undergo regulated development relying on intricate interactions between genetics, molecules, and the environment. Delving deeper into these mechanisms enables us to comprehend limb abnormalities and envision therapeutic interventions. Ongoing research in embryology fuels cutting-edge exploration and limb development, unveiling a world of possibilities.